to the wall and listen to <laughs> the games all year. Um, okay, well, let me just write down some of your questions real quick. I need a piece of paper. Um, we're going to get started and do, do boxes first, and then we'll get into some updates and tell you about some things going on. And I had the box opener. There it is. You guys don't know where CJ is? Oh, where did she go again? Who? You have seen her tonight. Yeah, she was oh. down there. Remember we let her you out. You want to write letters or pictures? Cool. Yes. Remember where I let her out. Oh, that's right. She's still in there. She's still in there. Oh, okay. Why do they want to see her? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do what? 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 You would be good at that. So go around and write where she Yeah, write around, walk around and write down what you see. This one, here's, um, here's CJ. We'll show you CJ while, while we know where she's at. <laughs> CJ. Well, we couldn't find her all day, all evening. Curtain. Couldn't yeah. find her either? She was in there. You know, um, she's doing so much better. Remember that for a long time we couldn't get her out of her pen, and now sometimes we have trouble finding her. Yeah, she's doing real good. And in this box, we do have a paper, and we have a kitty. This kitty, do you guys know which one this is? See if you guess it right. Oh. <laughs> Cinnabon, it is. <laughs> you guys are good. Nope, it's Cinnabon. <laughs> oh, okay. The, oh, this is from um, Elaine, and this is um, Quayside. This is Quayside. It's from Elaine and Willa. And let's see what you were after. Oh, my gosh. This is Halloween delight. Wow. Look at this. Mm. Wow. Um, tomorrow, if we have time, will be our um, mix, mix all the, I call it the TLC stuff for the volunteers. So we've got Kit Kat. <clears throat> oh, these are all flavors of Kit Kat. Oh, the Hershey's Cookies and Cream. Those are good. And most importantly, these have Reese's Peanut Butter peanut butters in them. Wow. There's there's five of five of these, two of these, and two of these. Thank you, Quasi. This is a treat, a real big treat. You know, <clears throat> this is a time of year that it's good to buy these. And we're also going in a time of year where it's it's not so hot, I don't have to worry about all the chocolate melting. So we usually have a lot of chocolate available. I I would love to see all the candy we've had in that drawer <clears throat> over the time. <laughs> it would probably fill up the room. Um, thank you, Quayside. We'll put this, uh, I'm just going to leave it in here, and then this way we can get this out tomorrow. And you kitty, stay away from it. Mm. No getting in that. That's yeah, for people. Yeah, that one. It's real heavy. This one's heavy I one? I think that's so heavy. Mm -hmm. Kind of a medium one. Kind of a medium one. So if you guys ever come and visit, trust me, we'll offer you our TLC um, drawer. I love it when we have paper. Sometimes we do and sometimes we don't. Uh, and this one doesn't tell me who it is, but I've got a couple cheat notes up here. So let me see. Gerber, Feast, Feast Senior, no, Gerber, no, oh, Frisky, um, I'm not sure, let me see, go on kitty, they're starting to like the, the plastic bags too. Come on, go on over there and see what it is. <clears throat> We've got, oh, let me 
me take one more look. I think I might have a note on this. It's even seafood. And yet that would be good. I think seafood. And I think this is from Deb. <laughs> no, no, this is baby, baby food. food. Oh, yeah. Uh, hey, Martha, do you want to get another one of these out in the drawer? And I'll give this to you to open. Or you think that maybe I would... Don't cut yourself or Kurt will have a conniption. Yeah, I think this might be from... Mm -hmm. I was looking Dad. for scissors instead. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's more fun to say. What's that thing? What mm -hmm. happened to her? Oh, they're hanging right over here between the wall. Um, to your right on the wall. Yeah. Right above the oh. nail clippers. Oh. Yeah. I both of and this You're going to have to show your teacher all that. This is a case of the Gerber's chicken. We refilled our big white cabinet today and restocked our blue cabinet one. And I think we only had four of these trays left. So this will give us two more. So we'll have a few extra. And this is seafood. Is this maybe I'll kind of read that real quick. It's hard for me to read from here. But I think this might be from Deb. Deb one 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 one. Thank you, babe. And this is a thir one of those thirty two packs. And this has um, four different kinds in it. And these are friskies, which we love getting the friskies. And the other seed packs. So, is Deb on there right now? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is from Deb. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, Dee and baby food and our friskies. I get as, as excited. Yeah, it is from Deb, so I'm going to write your name on here. I get as, as excited for the bee or for the cat food as I do for the human tree. Thank you, Deb. Sure do appreciate that very, very, very much. Helps us out a, a whole lot. And I think we're going to wait for this one. We'll do another one of these. Oh, this one's heavy. Hey, you guys. <laughs> Come on, move your little jet. Chaplin, you get down and play. This one's another Amazon one. Yeah, so Deb and Quayside, sure do appreciate it. Good. Oh, this is awesome. We... Uh, Jackie, or excuse me, Judy S. was here today and we sorted a lot of the uh, cat food today and we're doing pretty good on the packet, but we were starting to get a little lower on the frisky. So this, this here, what Debbie sent, and this one I don't have a name on. There's two of these here. And one is the frisky meaty bites. Oh, they're both the frisky meaty bites. So, does that anybody that know who this is from? Yeah. She has about all she can take of it she can. Okay, well, if anybody knows, maybe Severin can kind of keep track of it for me and uh, let me know who, who these are. These are the bits. They love the bits. Oh, Chaplin says, I'm going to help you. Oh, he's, so helpful. he's so helpful. He's so helpful. So that's 232 oh, boxes and 224 boxes. Oh, my golly. Moses Chaplin scooching over there, dude. Well, that must be the heavy one. No wonder, no wonder a UPS guy comes in here grunting and groaning sometimes. This one can oh, except this one came from FedEx. Kind of fun because sometimes we get them from the regular post, US or UPS, USPS, 
and then sometimes um, at UPS, and then sometimes the FedEx. Oh, yay. We, oh, not only do we have paper, we have litter. And this is from, I think this is from Mamie. This is 40 pounds oh. of litter, and I made it in the box. That one time we got litter, the boxes were all crunched because they're so heavy. Thank you, thank you. No, do you want them? Mm -mm. Okay. So we got kitty toys, and we got 40 pounds of litter. Awesome. We like this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <coughs> Yeah, the Army Hammer. I was just checking to see if there was an extra note if they did that on that. Thank you. Yeah, can you carry that? Mm -hmm. yeah. Come on, muscle, muscle, muscle. Did you get that? It's okay. This is a little bit heavy also. Maybe this is another one. Because I came from Petco, uh -uh. I think. And the kitties get, the kitties, I get excited about litter. The kitties may not, but they get excited about this. Yeah, we got two boxes. Oops, I thought I was going to flip the box over. Thank you. This will get us, see, we got food. If you have food, you gotta have litter. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate that. And uh you have to get another for you? Yeah. Can you do it? Sure, can you can you do me a favor though? Where my desk is in the mm -hmm. office in that left hand drawer, there's mm -hmm. a black book there. Mm -hmm. Then I can make sure I know I'm I'm pretty sure I know who gets this, but at least it's sort of Okay hand. guys. Clear the way for Martha. <laughs> And then we have another box uh -huh. as many kitties and that Emmeline had on this this one, oh, this flower, no, nope, the bigger, bigger one. We what know it can it hold the weight oh. here. Yeah. yeah, play, poop, and sleep. That's what these guys do, play, poop, and sleep. That's their main hobby. Okay, which one do you want? <laughs> Neither one of these? Oh, That's gosh. all that's in that my, drawer. My black book isn't in there? Okay. Uh-oh. Look at me. I'm in the drawer. I don't think there is another drawer. There is another okay. I must have it in the house. Real look. Oh. Uh, this is also from from our friend. The same one. This is all pet coat. Cool. Oh, this is great. We've got the Kitten Royal Cannon. This stuff, I don't know what is all in this, but they love this. This is from 4 months to 12 months. Okay, let's see what this one is. And, <laughs> Tasso, you so nuts. I don't see. Okay, I must have it inside. And this one is too. Even though I... It says four months to twelve months. We use this for the itty bitties, and they love it. It's got a lot of moisture in it, and a lot of pieces and bits in it, and they eat it. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Picasso. That's as that's, that's as important to us now as that dry um, baby cat um, royal cannon. Good stuff, and. Let me see here. Yeah, that I appreciate that. That you guys are the main providers of the food here for their breakfast, their snacks, their afternoon meals, the in between meals for the oldsters and um, the babies. You guys all make it happen for us. So these two can just go back there. We just kind of watch in the closet, yeah, on the right hand side. Thank you, Martha. Uh, I can tell you who said Yes, we did. I've got a few updates and then I've got some questions and we'll see if we can get that for everybody. Um, 
Did you? Oh, let me look up one name here. The names for the um, the two the four new kitties, the two torties and the two calicos. And we have searched a couple times today, walked around the house and the uh, out in the farmyard and uh, around the sheds to make sure there wasn't another dumped off kitty or cat. We didn't see another one. But the two the four that came in early yesterday morning, two are torties and two are the calicos. So you might have seen this on the blog, but one of the torties is Zoom. And the other torty is uh, Kozo. And then the two calicos, one name is um, Shale? Shale. Shale. And the other one is Sage. And those are um, all named after web cameras, from, um, named by web cameras. Martha is just telling me that she found, she did see a stray cat, an, an adult. Well, I wondered if it might be their mama. So, but she's scared, so we'll, we'll be setting our traps out again. Um, we've got a lady coming tomorrow morning. Uh, she's never adopted from us before, but her cat, um, do you want to get that for me? Her cat has died of, uh, passed away, um, was an old cat and has passed away. And she's going to come tomorrow. She would love to adopt two kitties or two young cats. So she'll be here in the morning. Uh, Emmeline, you probably have seen her. She's been here a lot today on the red marshmallow pillow. And uh, she's been mothering lots of babies. I love the, the pictures that um, some of you guys took and put on the Facebook of her and all the massive kitties uh -huh. that's been on here. So, Emmeline's a pretty cool mama. Uh, Birds are us. If you are on tonight, I have to apologize. I am so, so sorry. I meant to chat with you after boxes last night. I said I would, and I forgot. I'm so sorry. So, if you, um, I'll check the my emails after this is done, and if you want to hop on the emails, you can, okay? I'm, I'm really so sorry about last week. Bella is tomorrow will be three weeks post-op and uh, she's doing awesome. Her incision, where it, where it was because it's all healed now, is tucked up a tiny, tiny little bit past the point of her thump area. So I think they were able to get that up a little higher than what they, they well, they were hoping to get it up high and I think that they were successful in that. So that's all that I had copied down today, but you guys have some questions here. And um, one of them was the movie we saw was The Time. It's a so-so movie. Popcorn was good, though. And someone asked, I, I wrote these down so quick, I normally write down who asked the questions. I didn't do that tonight because I was, I'm already so late, and I'm so sorry. Uh, someone asked about the Z. A long time ago, well, not that long ago, maybe four years ago, we got in our one and only Sphinx cat ever here in the rescue center, and I loved that cat. But I adopted it out, and I had always regretted that. I always wished that I had kept that cat. I just loved the breed. So I found someone who, she is a breeder um, in Michigan, and I went up there just to see the kitties and of course I just I just fell in love again with with who would be um, Zany, my first uh, Sphinx. But and I've told some of you guys this, if I could I'd go up there and I would take them all because the place is not a uh, real oh without, I don't want to be critical but it wasn't a nice it was it was a little dirty and not the best place that I would be. Quite sanitary, thank you Dorothy. I'd love to go up and take them all. Um, but I can't. I couldn't do that. Uh, 
but soon after, when I was there to get Zany, uh, she came out holding this clump of kitties that looked like little rats, and in that was Zeke, and I just couldn't stop thinking about him. So I talked to Steve, and he said, you know, call and see if Zeke was still available, which he was, so we went back up, and we took a big bag in um, just in case we needed any information that we she needed from us and I wanted just to scoop them all up and put them all in the bag and bring them back here so they could play and be, and give them baths and oh I just wish I could have taken them all but that's how I got Zeke and Zany and I love them they're so silly and crazy the rope on the pole here that the cats love so much uh, some people call it hemp some people call it thistle I don't know if there's really a true different different um, definition of those two kinds of rope, but that's what that's what's on these. This is um, three quarters. We have on these poles sometimes put an inch on it. Works just as fine. Uh, just in case you're thinking of doing a pole, uh, this took uh, what was it? 210 feet of it. I think that's how many feet are on that. Um, so it takes quite a bit, but boy, the cats love it, and it lasts for years and years and years. Uh, someone else asked if Dee is okay. She wasn't here today. Uh, Dee had adopted, and also the other part of that is if she has any cats. She, last year, maybe eight months ago, <clears throat> adopted a kitty from us, but she also had in her home um, an oldster, an old cat. And she's been having a lot of trouble with this cat. It's, it's, it was very old. Anyhow, it passed away a couple of days ago. So Dee was very sad. Uh, she didn't feel she could come today. Um, but she does love her other cat. But, you know, she still has had a great loss. So she didn't want to come. She just wanted to stay home with her kitty at home. So I, I just was real sorry that she lost her, her cat. Uh, someone else asked how Bella's doing. As I just had said, she's doing... She's just doing awesome. She's doing so good. She's down below patient mm -hmm. little pin. And she's not overly um, using that stump, so she's doing awesome. She's doing real good. Uh, someone else asked how, how I feel, how, how old kitties should be when they go to a new home. Personally, I like to see the kitties stay with their mommy so they're like at least eight weeks old. I don't like that five, six weeks old thing. And I know at five and six weeks old, they're already using their litter box, they're playing and they're running, and um, they're eating pretty good on their own. But most mommies will nurse their babies till they're eight weeks old. But also at eight weeks is when you start the uh, vaccines, or we actually do it here sooner because of our situation here. They're kind of like pre-kitty vaccines. Um, five and six is, is really young. I see Severin just put that. It is young, and they still do need their mommies. And the minimum I would like to see is eight weeks. But there's a there's another reason too. Mommies teach babies um, social behavior, and sometimes these kitties that are without their mommies and are taken away too young, they learn uh, attitudes towards humans that aren't always right. And I'm particularly talking about kitties that nip or will run out and jump on your legs and bite or, you know, kind of do that attack mode thing. These, those are things that um, kitties learn a lot of social behavior, uh, the correct ways of behaving during that five to eight weeks old. So I like to have them stay that long and, and then to get their um, vaccine started. Yeah, they could turn out like this. Yeah, I look at Rizzo. I love her. I just wrote, found... CJ, oh, yeah, we, did we find her? Yeah, yeah she's she, back. Yeah, she, I she is in her pen. Yeah, yeah she is in her pen. She kind of goes in the back section. But she has done awesome today. She has done so well. She's um, been out and about more, and she's so much better with the kitties than what she was a week ago. And, and then why was Burka in a cage? Burka went nuts today. Judy S. and I was doing the treatment board, which is around the corner. I always sit at the yellow table going through the health book. And she sits, stands there by the treatment board. And we have two weeks at a time. And we write down there when the vaccines are due, when the worming's due, when the second loop tests are done, all those things. Well, every single week that we do this, 
um, Einstein, my bird, no matter where he's at in the house, he comes over and he sits up on the one um, stand and he watches us. And that's why when we're doing this, you'll see, well, you might not be able to see, but the cats are draped up there and they're just so eager beaver. Berta zeroed in on uh, Einstein. I mean, she was just dead center on getting that bird. And she jumped onto poor Judy's head, fell onto her shoulder, scratched her right in here, and uh, Judy put her down, and Burka just did it all over again. And she, you could just tell she was zoned in to that bird. So um, I said, well, I'll just hold her while, we're, while we continue our work. And uh, when I went to just hold her, she was, boom, right back at the door again. So we put her in a pen until we were done. Um, CJ... Oh, CJ being a counter cat to eat, I, a lot of you that, that watch breakfast um, know that Sarah and uh, Magenta are always the breakfast counter cats, and for a long time we've what had... What about Kurt? Kurt William, no. Well, not the breakfast, but no, up in, he not up on the now? counter. Wait, he was tonight. But, but not for breakfast. Not for breakfast. Yeah, not for breakfast, but um, Cabbage always would. And he would sit by the count by the um, uh, microwave. CJ would probably like it, and here she is. But if I can keep it to two, it sure gives me a whole lot more room on the on the counter. Their behinders take up a lot of uh, space for me. Show County, you did, and CJ. I think yeah, I think I Martha holding, showed showed them both. Tugger is doing really well. Uh, he. He needed a major grooming. We're talking nail trim, the butt and the belly shape, and the back. And a lot of that stuff we can do without sedation, but he had some mats that was all the way down to the fur that hurt. So the easiest thing was just to give him a very, very light sedation and do an a extremely good job of, um, of grooming. And we did. We got a whole bunch of fur out of him, and he's going to look like a million bucks. Uh, we're going to do one more brush out on him tomorrow morning, but he's, he's really good now. So if he gets adopted fairly soon, I'll feel real comfortable with him going. That we've, we've got him on the path of, of being good groomed to go. Hmm? And then the one question that I saved for last is oh. about no, no, um, no, no. Donna good. and Shalane. Um, She's about Donna is doing much better. We've got all five kitties in uh, Cat's Corner Room again, and most of the day, all morning, Donna and Shalane spent in, in Dodger's Den there in the office. Um, Donna's doing much better, and actually we left her back out this afternoon, and she's been running and playing and eating pretty good. Uh, Shalane, though, is not doing so well, and I was just telling Kurt, I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I am worried about Shalane. I've talked to one of our vets today uh, about her, and it's just, I mean, I, I knew what they were going to tell me is at this point all we can do is treat the symptoms. So we've kept her warm, although she doesn't want to stay on the heating pad. Um, we've, we're syringe feeding her. If we syringe feed her too much, she will throw it up. Uh, she does have a sore throat. Uh, there's not a lot of physical symptoms that she's showing us, um, but if, we're gi if we give her only like three or four cc's at a time of her gruel that we mixed up for her, she's keeping it down. And actually her belly feels better tonight than what it did this morning, but um, there's something that's not quite right with her. I'm hoping that if we can get a couple good days with her that she's going to pull out of this. But I'm usually a very, very optimistic person. Um, but it worries me some of the things that she's doing uh, just have me very concerned. So I'm going to take her actually in the house with me tonight so I can keep an extra good eye on her. We'll fix up a bed for her. Uh, sometimes she wants to be held and sometimes she doesn't. Um, but we're, we're doing everything that we can for her. She's on antibiotics as a just in case it's a... Um, a germ that can be treated. We've also got her on anti-inflammatories and 
uh, some soreness meds in case her, uh, her throat is sore a little bit. But I think there's something going on more than just a simple upper respiratory. We can pull the cats out of those pretty easy. This one, she's just showing different signs that um, is more concerning. So we're doing everything we can. We'll keep working on her and I'm always, I try to be real honest with everything that goes on here with you all. So um, we'll just hope and pray that, that she pulls out of this okay. So uh, is, are there anything else that anybody wants? I can check the monitor real quick. What movie did you go to see tonight? We went to see, um, oh, what was the name of that? The number one. We, oh, Kathy, do you know the name of that movie where the number is in, in time? That's it. We said that wildfire. Thank you. Yeah, in time. That, it was a pretty good movie. And Deb did send the two boxes. That's what I thought. Thank you. And they want to see County again. Do we know what County is? Uh, Mark is on a County hunt. And Picasso. Yeah. <laughs> Picasso. You're just a nut. This is Picasso. We can only small solid solid black kitty right now. This boy has energy galore. There's County. And I don't know if you all know or not, but he does have the polydactyl. Oh, does? Yeah, oh, he does. Yeah, he's got the extra toes as the CJ. Yeah, CJ and County are the only polydactyls or him Mhm. Mm he's got some big front toes. Good job, I do. Yeah, he's got some Momo big whoppers. Junior. Momo Junior. Mm -hmm. Love he they asked my favorite. Uh, County might be one of my favorites. County, I yeah, love County. Let me see if I can find Asha. She's here. She's in here. I know. I love her too. Let's see. Here's Asha. We just love Asha. Marcy, Marcy loves you. Did you see that? Asha. <laughs> Asha Saucy, did you hear that? Asha. Did you hear that? Asha Saucy. Oh, I don't Yeah. You know, she's done this from the very beginning, hasn't she? She. She's a head butter. Did you love me? Yeah, I love Mama. Oh, I love you. I just love her to pieces. And Nikki Jr.? She always squeaks when I pick her up. Just because of the what, what that means. Me. Here's huh? oh, oh, oh. <laughs> new teacher. She says I've been rocking and rolling all day. You know that first couple of days she was pretty shy. Well, we didn't leave her out of her room for the first couple of days because of the severity of her wound on her leg. And then the then for a couple of days, even though the door was open, she didn't want to come out. And uh, didn't you know that? Yeah. Then she would come out, but she was shy, and now it's like, oh boy, she's all over the place. What have you got on, let me see, you got food on your face. Isn't she cute? She's got a really different face than what the three C, C kitties have. Jackie? Yep. I have a question. Yeah. Is Timmy feral? Because his ear looks like this. <laughs> yeah, Timmy's feral all right. <laughs> And Kitty, 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 where's Kitty? Timmy's my dog. This is a little dog. Yeah, 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 my little dog. Anybody know where Kitty is? Uh, uh, where did I see her? I just Kitty. I just saw her around. She was what, Kathy? I saw her around. This one's Patty Purr. Oh, we just love you. Yes, we do. Do, do, do I smell like popcorn? <laughs> um, 
I don't know if you can ever see on him, but his front, his uh, fangs or his canines, um, they almost always are out. Yeah, they're out there right now. Can you show them? I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but his bottom teeth, you know, it's just all crammed in there. So their nose, nose structure is actually as long as what a regular cat's face looks like. It's just all crammed up in there. That's why they have so much trouble. And we actually wash his face uh, three times a day. And now cute, or Patty, he doesn't, she, he rarely needs his face washed. Look at that. See, I'm not going to open my eyes. You're not even going to look at them, are you? <laughs> Isn't he a doll? Okay, there you go. Jackie, I don't think you Okay. That. We're still looking for cutie. Here's Gemini. Amira and Adora. Let me see if I can find those two rascals. Oh, they want to know how Clem's doing. Oh, she was here yesterday. She's doing a whole lot better. Doing better. She's starting to move her fingers and wrists and elbow more. She's doing better. And Amara and Adora. Another real cute one. Remember this one? You know who this one? Yep, Casco Pika. You got it. He's, I just really love him too. He's a sweetheart. Yep, you guys got it. Oh, he did. I think I bit me last time too that I showed him. Hi, you're supposed to be nice. Because you are a nice boy. Okay. Uh, what are they saying to me? I felt like a peanut. I kept repeating. I don't. I don't know. What? What happened? What happened? I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what they're referring to. Huh? You guys know which one this one is? Adora. You guys are good. Now, what did you want? Do you want to bring in the, the girls? The girls from Thumper's room? Oh, well, okay. it like two at a time, two forties, two calicos. These two are beautiful. Where's your sissy? Where's your sissy? And Dorothy has found Cutie. She's trying very hard to get Cutie. Cutie decided to play at the back of the... on the floor. Oh, <laughs> Dorothy, you're awesome. Here, Dorothy, you want some help? Boy, that... That's determination. Oh, Dorothy. Oh. Dorothy, can you see get up? Come here, hold. Oh. Oh, you got it? Yeah, okay. I'm telling you. Here's Jody Pie. Hey, honey. There. Oh. Yeah. Here, you can look at everybody. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. It's okay. You want to just throw it away so nobody gets hurt on it? Cutie. You're going to look at them. Say hi, everybody. Yeah. Okay. Dor er, Martha's got... Sure. Let me go see who's crying. It's probably the little You gotta look at him. Look. To see? It was cute. To see? Uh -huh. Come on, let's go. You're not too happy about being in here. <laughs> Yeah, 
Oh, you threw it up and it cracked. She said, oh, no, no. Yeah, she loves you, Dorothy. Here's the other squirrel tail, what you guys call. This one's a Mira. Aren't they pretty? Yeah, see, I am a cutie. Yeah, there you go. Oh, you're so sweet. Yeah, and there, Martha's got the other two torties with the group. The one that was running around could very well be the mom because she sort she of looked like well, this. she was lighter. I didn't get a good look at her. Well, we'll have to she was normalized like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look how long their noses are. Uh -huh. And look how big their ears are gigantic. They're, they're nice kitties. They've been playing. We've got them out of the pen in Thumper's room. Um, I've got them out and on the floor with a rug and toys. She was a pretty kid. She had a big head. Well, she was a pretty we might have to set the trap. We will set the trap. Mm -hmm. So, everybody okay now? Kozo. Uh, you caught me, Yuki, because um, I haven't differentiated the two yet. So, I will let you guys know. There's not very much difference. I'm going to tomorrow. I'll go in there and sit down and check toes and ear colors on the outside, so we'll we'll get that. The calicos are a little easier. Where is Weasley? Weasley's in the room, but let me see if I can, if he's awake. Do you want him close to you? Because you're such a booty. Sit on my hands. Oh, yes, yes. Now, this is one, these two are my favorite. With an embuffin hand. <laughs> they're, they're, what one doesn't think of, the other one does. They remind me of her. <laughs> okay, so here's Weasley. <laughs> Weasley, you're teaching everybody to whine. And this is Donna. This is the one that, um, Goosey named. A pretty kitty. Yeah, well, she if if the lady that comes tomorrow uh, likes Adora and Amara, you know, we won't be able to let her take them tomorrow because we have to get them spayed on Saturday. So, and also tomorrow morning, uh, Mary E is here, and we're going to weigh everybody and I'll make up my uh, surgery list for Saturday. I'm afraid to, though, because there's going to be a whole bunch of them. This one is helping oh. Kathy. This one is, uh, yeah. that's Kathy. Yeah, she's Here. being helpful. No more. There yeah. we go. She's not being helpful. And very cute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and very cute. Every time the paintbrush moves. That's, uh, perfect. Okay. Well, thanks, everybody. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. you guys oh. joining us. And we moved up again a little bit more on the voting thing, so that was pretty cool, too, to see. Um, thank you, everybody. And, uh, yes, good wishes, good thoughts, good prayers for Shalane. Yeah. Okay. we got to get things put away. In the I told her I didn't think you'd call her tonight, but she's... It was a young girl. Okay. She said she'd be in school tomorrow. Okay. And she said that 